Hello everybody, this is Kyrex with more Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Whew, has it been a wild ride, and it's almost over. Really isn't too much left to this. It's gonna be... some side quests, the start of the final area, and then a break for a lot of grinding. Might even blitz the whole final area myself just to... I don't know, it depends on how long the side quests take, but we're talking four videos at the most, probably two or three instead. And it is going to be quite a ride. Now, without further ado, let me get off my butt and come out here and swap the disc. Disc 4, by the way, has a picture of BB on it. Disc 3 is Steiner. I think disc one is Zidane and disc two is Dagger. Yep, Zidane, Dagger, Steiner, and Vivi are discs one, two, three, and four. <clears throat> Personally, I think this is one of the cutest moments in the whole game because, uh, because I forget exactly who, but we're going to find out soon. Someone had the bright idea to keep the genomes of the Black Mages. It was Vivi's idea. It doesn't surprise me at all. It, it's so funny because the Black Mages are so childlike and adorable, and yet they know a lot more. Meanwhile, the, the genomes are so hyper-intelligent and utterly clueless about everything. It's a very interesting... Uh, contrast. Yes, contrast. I doubt that. I don't think they're going to live long. And they're genderless. They don't seem to breed either. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the free horse Bashir. <laughs> oh, please tell me the name, Bobby Corwin. <laughs> I love that name. It's the most bizarre name for a chocobo. His name is Bobby Corwin. Take the first two letters of both parts of that, you get Boko, which is basically uh, Bart's his chocobo from Final Fantasy V. Fucking Bobby Corwin. <laughs> you can get eaten by the chocobo. Oh, it'll bite your fucking hand off. <laughs> Bobby Corwin, no, come back! I like that name. It's so stupid. Fucking Bobby Corwin. Bobby Corwin the chocobo. He don't even know why he runs a shop. As Amaranth leans against the door, getting dumber by just osmosis. Plus, oh, so that was one. It really is, and that's why it's so adorable. It can when you're immortal. Again, this is not the Amaranth that joined the party. It's very subtle, but its he's a different man for having known today.
Ah, hi Makoto. So. This girl knows lots of difficult words. Make some friends. Make some friends! All the mages in this town are crazy! <laughs> yeah, you may not think much about the ant until it bites you in the nutsack. Then you, you, you behold, you fear the power of the fire ant, but it's on your balls. You shall be the fire ants on Kuja's balls. You know, that has got to be the most bizarre threat I've ever uttered. We shall be as the, the fire ant upon your balls, sir. Ugh. Shit, let's get the, the real heavy hitters. Now, yeah, lots of things have changed. We're not done here just yet. There's little things we need to do up here at the Black Mage Village. Except it would help if we landed near the village, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. I'll never see that. You know what? Where is the bird tracks? Where's my bird? There's my bird tracks. Now this can land places other airships could not, which is cool. So, for example, uh, remember how I needed the, the chocobo to get to the yans? Uh, if I had waited till disc four, I could have used the invincible instead to get to the yans. Which explains how I was able to get them before without... Because I always got all the friendly monsters, but it explains how I was able to get them before without the benefit of a gold chocobo. Well, fuck me right in the ass. Oh, Ragtime Mouse! This is encounter number four. Oh, I don't even fucking know. Let's take a look, shall we? Uh, that is in fact false. <clears throat> Thank you, strategy guide. You have helped me ever so very much. I shall inflict upon it the most powerful of falsehoods. I shall Dragon Quest the Falsehood. Now. Oh, that's right. I, I'm actually on a timer there. <laughs> I've inflicted 9,999 damage to the Falsehood. Because I'm weird that way. Yay, I get an insignificant amount of money. So little money. I don't even know what I'll do with it all. Probably buy a single piece of armor with it. Because that's all I can fucking do. So, uh, what, what, what am I using right now? Not the right one. Oh, I actually need the chocobo for something, too. I forgot. I gotta get an ultimate weapon for Zidane. It's important. Get it in a minute, though. Yeah, they do. What can you tell? I, I really have trouble telling the, the guys and the girls apart. Mm, 
give yourself a name. It'll uh, clamp down on that a little bit. Oh, more treasure. Hello, more treasure. No. Want to shop? Indeed. Well, there's a thing. And there's a thing. Fuck, oh, hope I didn't need those. And there's a thing. Sure. Fuck. Um. Double fuck. Oh, it's because I'm poor. That's why. It's because I'm worthless and poor. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grind before I get more gear, I guess. Get the good shit to do now. We know the money. It won't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the fuck out of some grand dragons. Off screen, of course. I'm not gonna waste some time with that, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna solve this little problem. This little fiasco will not be allowed to pass. Now I'ma take me this goddamn bird. Ahem, I'm going to take me this goddamn bird. Come on, goddamn bird. There we go. I'm gonna go for a little stroll. Followed by a little spin. God, I'm so mad that I forgot to show off the Hildegard 3's interior. I will show off at least part of the Invincible's interior. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Go for their stuff that I need to do. Um, there's the Invincible. Invincible. Alrighty then. Let's rock this house, shall we? God, I love it. Just the interior, that marbled green. I fucking love it. It's beautiful. Yay! I have Pisces, the final one. But who was Virgo's choice, you might ask? That's a good question. I don't remember. I really don't. We're gonna land close to here. I'm not done yet. I've got things to do. Also, you can totally play cards with Fat Chocobo. It's a thing. It's actually kind of required in some cases. Where's the beach? There is the beach. Can I go under here? I can. Pretty cool. There is a landmass that has been irrevocably altered. Formerly known as the Shimmering Isle, it's now the location of the final dive spot in the entire game. Very important one, and it's something I must do before I go to Fat Chocobo. And here it is. Somewhere in the middle-ish. Come on, where's the bubbles? Wait, the bubbles. Oh, I guess that wasn't it. Um, where's the Shimmering Isle? Where's the remains of the Shimmering Isle? That's a better question. Maybe this was it? Okay. Pretty sure this is about the area where it was. Because look, here's the shattered remnants of what was once a landmass. Where's my friggin' dive spot? Is this it? Nope, that's just the normal glisten of the ocean. Oh, uh, you're not gonna make me dig it out, are you? I mean, granted, I have all the dead peppers I could ever need for such a task, but nonetheless... Well, I shouldn't be so surprised that it doesn't show up on the map anymore. I mean, it does kind of cease to exist. You know, there's an idea. 
Oh, derp. Still here ish. Is that it? No, that's not a bubble. I should not a bubble. This is a continent. Come on, damn it. There's always bubbles near a dive spot. Show me the bubbles. I want the bubbles. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Come along then, where are my fucking bubbles? Okay, where's the damn map? My damn map. I think I'd be past this. I really would. Dive spot number five. As I thought, it's like in the freaking middle of it. Let's zoom in real nice and big. Okay, so. Should be right about. Yeah? Is that the one? Okay, there's a couple different ones. It's this big landmass, and then this. So it should be right around here? Me think. Maybe it's not a dive spot kind of dive spot. I must have sold all those. Spot. Why does it not work? It should be right here. Twitch, twitch, twitch goes the face. Okay. Aquamarines, Ultima Weapon, Maximilian, and the card for the Invincible. Let's see, I don't know why I'm looking for a forest in the fucking tundra. Oh, I don't know why I'm finding a forest in the fucking tundra, but I'll take it. brings to mind the fact that I really, really at some point need to watch Fee's run of Final Fantasy Tactics. Maybe that'll finally be the thing that makes me give a shit about that game. Uh, that came out a lot meaner than I meant it to, but uh, I've tried so much to like that game. I've tried so, so friggin' hard to like that game. I really, really have. I mean, when I first found out that it exists, I'm like, oh, another Final Fantasy game, let's play this. And I quickly discovered, this isn't like Final Fantasy that I know. So I just stopped. Later on, years later, like a decade later, I started getting into strategy, tactics, RPGs kind of thing. Something, and oh, finally, this is what I'll need. I'll play Final Fantasy Tactics and it'll be awesome. And I played it and I didn't care. So I don't know what it is. I just... Maybe I'm not invested in the story. Maybe the mechanics aren't good. I don't know. I want... I really want to like that game. I do. I might even want to like it enough to do an LLP of it on my own. But... Just... I, I just not feeling the fucking thing. Okay, we got a couple of things to do here. Couple, couple, couple. Again, there are like four or five side quests that I have to do in not a lot of time. But first, I'm gonna find out what the fuck a Maximilian is. It's not a card. Oh, it's an armor. Sweet. Fabrics likes armor. 
especially when it's really awesome armor. Now I'm going to do something cheap that I could have been doing the whole game, well, not the whole game, but for quite a while and just never got around to. This is the final monster. It is a behemoth. Freaking staple of Final Fantasies. Every Final Fantasy that I know of has had this. Although they weren't that impressive in Final Fantasy VI, to be honest. They kind of took a huge nosedive from its awesome that they used to be. This used to be the most terrifying enemy, the thing of, oh, if I run into that, I'm fucked. Oh, you missed me. My turn. You little whore. Turn your ass. Stone. Work. It did work. <laughs> you. Again, as usual, Zidane's thief skills are fucking broken. If you can learn how to utilize each one, they're all pretty much broken. A circlet that I don't give two shits about. Anyway, um, ultimate weapon. It is Sedane's ultimate weapon. Now, Arcalcum was the strongest I had, but then there was this, which wasn't quite as good. Doom. Now, I'm gonna take a little compare and contrast here. That is an 88 point difference. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. Fuck, I have no money. I can't get the Excalibur yet. I was totally gonna do that. Now I don't have the fucking money for it. Um, well, crap. What am I gonna do? I need a lot of money and I burnt it all up. Maybe I can sell you things? Won't matter, I can't make up enough money. Well, that's a fucking thing, isn't it? Maybe I'll get enough from the Stelazio quest. She's been known to give me money. This one. It's only taking me three freaking discs, but I think I finally know my way around Trino. I'll be spending a lot of time here in the very near future. As I work on getting my card. Oh, that reminds me! Let's uh, take a look at that card. That new card. Ooh, what a beautiful card. I actually have almost everything. I'm kind of pleased with that, to be perfectly honest. I've got a sizable portion of the cards. Well above half, I'd say. There's 100 cards, I have 66. That's 34 cards! That's not bad! I'm only missing 34 cards. That's pretty good, actually. Hello, duck lady! Or bird lady, or whatever you are. By the way, I can totally play cards with her, too. Give me prizes. Good money. Could use that for sure. Another Robo Lords. I think that takes me up to three of them. Certainly have a lot of them. So, one more time, let's look up this whole story. There is a, a, a measure to this. You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna read it off. <clears throat> the story of the twelve zodiacs. The eleven zodiacs pondered how best to catch Virgo's heart. Ares headed went east. Blech. Taurus had an idea. He would give Virgo a gift. Through the forest and over the mountain, he found a star. 
Gemini thought by the river, I will sing her a song. He didn't know where she was, but he hoped his song would reach her. Cancer headed to the cape where Virgo waited. The sun was setting into the ocean. Will he finally see her? Leo was waiting for the sun to set into the ocean. Then Cancer showed up, and they began to fight into the ocean as they fell. Or into the ocean they fell. Okay. Watching the sun set from the cape, Virgo whispered, My only wish is to be with you now. Libra was a perverse fellow. He would always walk in the opposite direction of the sun. Would he ever see Virgo? Scorpio was very timid. He always looked at his shadow until one day he decided to look away. He walked up a hill. Sagittarius dashed through the night, defying the chilly northern wind that was stinging his right cheek. Impatient Capricorn ran up a hill toward the sun and fell asleep from exhaustion. Aquarius arrived late. He asked everyone, who kissed Virgo? Pisces said to Aquaria, Aquarius, Virgo made her choice. Go and see, and he'll tell. Go, go see him, and he'll tell you the rest. Now, I might just be thick, but I couldn't get from that where everything was. However, I happen to know where everything was, and I really wish I could remember who it was that she chose. But it doesn't really matter right now. We'll find out pretty soon when we find the thirteenth coin. Now, the thirteenth prize is not a big deal. It can be synced into what's supposedly a very good armor, but I don't care about that because the 13th Stelazio gives you an item that unlocks the secret hidden ending. And don't let that title fool you. That's me being dramatic. The secret hidden ending, hidden ending is literally a single scene tacked on to the real ending. And it's so minor that if I were to point it out to you, you'd be like, really? You you blew good armor for that? You'd be right. I did. But I don't care. Anyway, we come back here. And number 13 should be down here somewhere. I was mistaken when I said it was the phone. By the way, uh, the, the guide originally said if I jump off the, the ledge from inside here, I'll always get the item from the phone. But if I do it elsewhere, it's harder. I realize it's because I have to line it up just perfect. All right, first, let's get a drink. And this should be it. So I think it was Scorpio. We'll find out. How does the story end? Their future was uncertain, but Scorpio and Virgo kissed in the light of dusk. That moment meant everything. So yeah, Scorpio and Virgo. Let me just check one little thing real quick. I forgot how Scorpio's story went. Yeah, the timid one. But that's a fun little story. It means nothing in the grand scheme of things. And while the Salazio quest has some pretty good presence to it, eh, you can be forgiven for skipping it entirely. You really could. I mean, it helps to get it, but you won't lose anything forever. I mean, most of the stuff we got in this quest was shit I could have found elsewhere. You know? The money helped, and the items helped. But, uh, again, it's a nice little reward for getting everything. And, uh, as a reminder, you're never locked out from that. So, if you... If you get to disc 4 and you suddenly realize, Wow, Kyrick, those are some good items and a neat little story. I want to get these. Well, just go back and backtrack. Go back, find them all, bring them to the... The... The, the freaking coin queen. And get your prezzies. Is that simple? So, what marvelous gift could be the prize for the 13th star coin, you ask. I'm going to tell you, it's not worth it. It really isn't in any way, shape, or form. But uh, it's a thing. And it's a thing I'm going to do a thing with.
Now, I'm not going to send the armor. I want you guys to get the full ending. And at this point, like I said, equipment's kind of meaningless. I think I should get all those rewards again, personally. I know I'm an awesome, hardened adventurer and all, but uh, she took a big risk. I could have died fighting monsters before I brought her coins back. These things could be critter poop. Hammer. That's what I got. A hammer. None of us can use hammers. It's just kind of here. It's Sinna's hammer, in fact. Which is what I thought it was. But, uh... So we got Sinna's hammer. Which begs the question where she got it from, but... Ah, oh, well. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're done here, because I can't afford the thing that I need for, uh... For Excalibur. I, I'm halfway there, but halfway ain't gonna cut it, is it? No, it's not. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna get more stuff. And what more stuff are we gonna do? Let's see, I've done the monsters, I've done this. Um, I've done my ultimate weapon, that's what we did. Okay, we are gonna... We are. We can't do Ozma because I already did Ozma. Um, I'm gonna go to Alexandria because there's stuff there I need to do. A couple things, in fact. We're gonna try and start the uh, Restore Magnet quest. Because what else am I gonna do with my time? Let's be honest. <laughs> kind of depressing that after all the work I went through to destroy the mist forever, it's all back. There are consequences to this. Let it be known, there are some serious consequences to the mist returning. And covering the entire world. Pretty, uh, heavy consequences. But, as they taught me in school, not all the consequences are bad. You'll see what I mean. God, I wish I, I I spent the whole game on this freaking continent. You'd think I'd know my way around it by now. And we're gonna go over here because this is where I get off. Alexandria, I return to you. All right, this should uh, net me a ribbon, just for being here. Well, not just for being. Stop near Gizmo Luke's grotto. That's the thing I forgot as well. It's Koopa Nut time. Time to get that final Aloha t shirt. Doesn't matter, it's just kind of placeholder equipment, but I use them. Hey, little man! How was your trip? I do. And that's the reward for, uh, helping him this whole time. Alright, now we've got to go to Permisia. What a coincidence, I needed to go near there anyway. But I think that's my third ribbon. And I can synth the fourth one later, so ribbons? Ribbons are potent, man, they do a lot. I think I might do some money grinding soon.
Matter of fact, I'm gonna get to there and then I'm gonna money grind. We're just gonna end the video as soon as I get near Trino. Not Trino, but um, oh, why don't I fly? I'm near a forest. Let's fly. See, as nice as the Invincible is, and it is, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong for even an instant. Invincible is a very nice vessel. However, it lacks the, the, the versatility and sophistication of a chocobo. Weird of thing. Because I need to show off the Moogle family, yeah! Oh god, there's so many of them. You don't know what dangerous is, my friend. I have a Koopa nut for you, sir. There's the final Aloha t-shirt. I never need to come back here again. Seriously, Koopa nuts are an aphrodisiac. He is he's eating that nut and then he's busting a nut. Banging the shit out of that poor little Moogle lady. Cause he only had two kids the last time I was here. He's been breeding profusely. Alright, I think we're good to go. Make sure we've all got... No, we do not all have antibody equipment. We're taking this off for now. No, we're doing this. And... Alright, I will see you later. Bye-bye.